Alright, we have a World game, uh, World Cup game coming up here for Hungapur versus Sweden. Uh, this is the last game of that series. Um, Sweden has lost every game so far, so Hungapur is 6-0. and uh, So Tenerim is their last hope here to maybe win a game. Um, I'm going to see if we can get a co-caster here. I'll have to wait a minute on that. So yeah, Lion Mirror match. Uh, Leonath versus Tenerim. Let's take a look at the deck lists. Both players on the core stronghold. Uh, Leenath is on Scorpion Splash, two Calling in Favors, three Forged Edicts, one Kirei Ko. Oh, he's support of the Scorpion. Wow, one Court Match, uh, Court Mask, two Collectors, and one Kikuyo. So a lot of Scorpion cards there. Uh, Tenorim on Seeker of Air, Crab Splash, three Reprieve, two Skirmisher. Uh, three Pathfinder's Blade also. So Pathfinder's Blade going to be his restricted list card. He is running only one time for war. Uh, okay, he has three of the Ancestral Armories. Um, and then on the other side... What is... Oh, it's Forged Edict. Wow. So neither player running charge, actually. Hey, Will, how's it going? Uh... Okay, so we're going to get Action Johnny in here to co-cast again. Let me call him up here. Yeah, the Lion Mirrors. We had a Lion Mirror not too long ago. Which one was that? It was the Demagogue one, I think. I'm not coming through again. Oh, hey, I can hear you now. Hey, that's cool. Fucking thing. God fucking damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... I know that the viewers at home are a giant fan of my mouth noises, but I'm actually going to be a bit more considerate today and mute myself when I'm making said eating mouth noises <laughs> randomly go quiet for two minutes at a time it's because i'm chewing on a grilled cheese which for those of you not familiar to canada it's a it's a it's part of their national cuisine from what i understand very innovative what they've done pieces of bread and they've uh, they've put some cheese in between the two slices there and they've um and they put it in a grill for a bit and, uh, and then they cut it in half, and uh, they give it to you, and yeah. you get to eat it. Yeah. So it's um. Sounds good. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, you have you have some countries like France, you know, renowned for national cuisine, eating all kinds of weird bollocks like you know, <laughs> frogs and fucking snails. Yeah. You know, you've got you've got Greeks and their giant meze platters, the Italians and their hearty pasta-based dishes, but Canada. Fuck all that. We're going to get two pieces of bread and a bit of cheese. We're going to grill it. We're going to call that a national cuisine. <laughs> I mean, you can't really go wrong with just bread and cheese, right? Certainly can't. That was, I believe, the staple diet for Vikings for a long time. Hmm. Yeah, so, uh, anyway. We... Anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> yeah, we have... Um... Who's first? So Tenorim is first player. He has bought a Prodigy here. On the other side, there's a Lion's Pride Brawler. Uh, you'd like to be going first with the LPB there, so you could bow this Prodigy, but won't get to do that. Uh, we see an attack. He finds Upholding Authority. Contesting Water? So, fun little bit of background. Both these players are 
uh, names in the community. Tenorim for his streaming and his very excitable manner when he is streaming. Big fan <laughs> of his streams. Is the na the national treasure of the Unicorn Clan. Playing some Lion today. Yeah, so, Leonath, Leonath is playing both Lion and Unicorn for this team. He is. Uh, currently, the Hungapur versus Sweden bracket is looking real bad for Sweden. They have lost every single game with only this one left to decide the bracket. So Tenorim is literally fried at this point, which is as good as reason, a good a reason as any. Yeah, I'm confused on the watering there. So uh, maybe it's just to prevent. No, that doesn't really work. There's not another character in play. Just to say. Yeah. I'm just going to go and have a wee look. Just a wee swift look here at both these uh, deck lists. Yeah, they're they're pretty interesting. Um, is there... Like, I'm trying to think. Is there a card in the lion list here that would make him want water? Ooh, Finger of Jade to stop the Shameful Display. That's quite good. Still going to need a buff to break here, though. Like, I was thinking maybe it's the Reservist, but you just go Fire instead, right? Mm. Like, that's the only card I see that does anything if you have the water ring. I'm a reservist. Yeah, that's true. Could have had one of those. Then doesn't that thing have fire? Oh, yeah, you already said that, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, find Katana for the break. So breaking, <laughs> breaking the, the Shameful with the palace on it is pretty good here. Yeah, that's really good. Does he have the guy that sends home, Master of the Spear? He doesn't. Does Master of the Spear even work on defense? I'm inclined to say no because it's a lion card and it probably doesn't do what you want it to do. Um, I feel like it's well attacking, but it you might not be. Like it might be that. <laughs> Let me double check. Yeah, it's while this character is attacking. Of course. It'd be too good otherwise. <laughs> Far too good. Yeah. Hey guys, just gonna mute myself quickly so I enjoy the dulcet tones of Pymond. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad enough, I guess, that its opponent chooses. It also has to be on attack. Um... Okay, so thinking about this, if he has a conflict character, like if he has exactly one conflict character, he probably has to decide here if he wants to prevent this break or get his attack in. Like he's, I think he's going to play the conflict character either way if he has it, since this is Earthring. It's just whether he plays it in the conflict or at home. Uh, I would probably just play it at home. You get to attack... I don't know, like fire, like if you have a Pathfinder's Blade here, you can just break the Upholding Authority, probably. Only one hand-to-hand. -hand. Oh, he has, okay, one hand-to-hand -hand and two calling in favors in Leonath's deck. Yeah, I'm really not sure why the first conflict wasn't fire if he has the Reservist, because not only does that turn on the Reservist, it also dishonors the LPB so he can't call in favors. Um, yeah, I don't know. The water watering was very strange there. Discards are ready for battle at random. That's fine. Uh, you would have probably liked to keep that with the LPB here, but could be worse. 
It's interesting that he didn't play a conflict character here. He has six fate. Okay, we do see the reservist, so I feel like he probably has more than one of those in his hand then. Um, or he would have played it to avoid the earth ring hitting it. So I guess what he was thinking was, if you play that in the conflict, then LPB tries to bow it and you have to use the ready for battle. So that would be two cards to prevent the break, so didn't want to do that. Uh, he does get to attack now. He's choosing Void, going at a face-down province. Finds Fertile Fields. Okay, that is fine. Uh, he will be breaking this after the Stronghold. Fertile Fields draws a card. So the other provinces... Oh wow, we see an assassinate here. Uh, I mean, that's fine, right? Can he cancel this? I don't think he has... Yeah, he doesn't have any cancels. Um, so he spends the assassinate on your Zero Fate Conflict character. That's okay. If you have another one, you can still get this Void Ring. The problem is you won't get the break unless you play a buff, which he doesn't really want to do. Um, I guess I guess if you put like one fate on it and then play a Pathfinder's Blade, that's fine. Ooh, Anakazu. Okay, so that is going to break it for sure, but he only gets to put one fate on it, so that's why he went void, I imagine, because he knew that if that exact sequence happened, he would have to have one fate on it, and he didn't want it to die to a conflict character, so he gets it for next turn. Uh, the nice thing here is that his opponent is going first, so if he breaks a province, then this will get buffed. Uh, he does have the LPB to bow someone, though, so... One thing I just realized... You can see uh, another ready. You could have multiple ready for battles. Yeah, that's got high yeah. equity in this mirror That's match. true. <laughs> one, one thing that I just realized is that by going Water Ring there, it now doesn't have any fate on it, so his opponent is less incentivized to attack with that, especially if he has ready for battle. So, like, maybe that was just... Maybe he was just, like, thinking that far ahead. Like, okay... If I... he is, that's a, that's a <laughs> mega, mega brain right there yeah but like i still think it might have been better to just go fire i don't know maybe not um yeah now color... he's, i mean firing isn't particularly great for him to take on the chin here either yeah so after that assassinate leanath might be looking to go air uh, probably not but you never know not leanath sorry oh yeah leanath yeah yeah uh tactician Ooh, is this a new character? Well, you are more honorable than an opponent. This character gets plus two political. Yeah, I think that's a new character. Probably won't play it here since he's down six honor. It's a two fate, two one, though. Hey, I is a two fate, two one there, lad. <laughs> Sorry, it's, uh, it's, Scottish, it's Scottish contingency disowning yeah. me instantly from that. Terrible, terrible impression there. <laughs> uh, buys a Berserker and a Mystic as well. Lion's Pride Brawler on the other side. Okay, so Leenath's got to be going low bid airing, right? And yeah, he does. He gets the Tactician's Apprentice. The trigger. That's a really good result. He's got a couple of honor back. He doesn't need to go air now. Not that he really did need to go air in the first place. I'm just going to see how many Assassinates Leenath is actually on. So he has spent his soul assassinate. Yep. So, hmm. I'm wondering what those forged edicts are going to cancel here. He only has the LPB in play right now. I guess that's maybe why he's running the oratory, because it's a courtier. 
Um, there aren't a whole lot of events here. Like, you can cancel Way of the Lion is a good one. Uh, maybe Censure. And then there's the One Times Legion of One and Time for War. Skill 8, attack here at Manicured. Uh, he is going for Fire. So you could just let him break this, and then your guy is a 6-6. Six, six. Uh, that's assuming you have the ready for battle. Because otherwise he might get bowed. Do you bow him, or do you buy, or do you bow the LPB here? I'm not actually. Uh, um, you probably buy Anakazu because he's representing a five strength pole, which is something that Lion struggles to defend. Uh, he goes it's for the, the LPB. Yeah, so LPB can't bow one of your characters now, so I don't necessarily dislike that. Like, he wants to use this Prodigy on the political attack, so... Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Discard Spirit Caller. We're gonna see a Dishonored um, Anakazu now, I think. Uh, yeah, I imagine. You could honor the LPB because the Anakazu is dying. Oh, Dishonor is his opponent's LPB. I mean, that is the character with the most fate on it. Uh, so are we going to see him go Void again? No, he's going Water. That's fast, and the Lion's Pride Baller back up. He yeah. doesn't really care about the Void Ring. Like, L Lenith is much more incentivized to deny the Void and not really do anything with it. Right. So he's going to go... Earth ring political Water, it looks like. Sending maybe both characters. Yeah. Get finds... you ready, the LPB. Ooh. Finds Art of War. It's a good one to hit if you're Tenorim. In... No. It's always a good one to be hit if you're Lena. Makes way less sense. <laughs> yeah, it was either that or Forge. No, wait, I'm looking at the wrong list. That or Meditations? Wait. Yeah, you probably want to find Meditations there, right? Yeah, yeah, Meditations. Am I right? There. Yeah. Wait. Oh, no, it isn't. It's Illustrious Forge. No, it isn't, no, that's... I'm looking at the wrong list. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, it is Meditations, yeah. Meditations, right. And then, wait, is Shameful on Box then? Or is it Shameful in Rowan Meditations on Box? Oof. I quite like Shameful on Box in Lion. Yeah, I think that's what it might be. Bows, right? So it breaks out of war. He gives uh, Leenath another four, uh, three cards to mess around with. Yep. Fun there. Just having a wee bit of fun. So Mia Mystic can attack political now. And the the Mia family name really cracks me up. Because I mean I don't know if you ever had this song in the US, but do you remember that like um in sort of pop song that my oh yeah my <laughs> that's all i can think about whenever i see uh, <laughs> emily yeah that was that was like an internet meme for a while way back in the day yeah, that was like one of the original memes yeah and that basically. should actually be a, a rule of the game whenever you trigger satoshi you have to go my ha, ha. yeah they should put they should just put that voice line in on g goku <laughs> that'd be sick yeah uh, any of the Jigoku developers are watching this, uh, I think you should really consider that. Yeah. Okay, we see Illustrious 4. I'm just getting hit. And some, I guess, ripped crane guy hard at work on the artwork there. <laughs> yeah. Finds a Pathfinder's Blade with that. Um, I guess with the Illustrious Forge in this deck... Well, he does actually have a lot of expensive attachments. Um... Yeah, the forge is forge is decent in this deck list. Yeah, uh, and uh, Pathfinder's Blade now means that he can break uh, upholding authority quite happily. 
Yeah, that's true. Um, and he's going first next turn for the box push. So, really, this is um, this is decent for 10R Rim. <laughs> yeah. He could even, like, reprieve the Anakazu, maybe. Good. Maybe that's what... Um, yeah, he's got Mystic on board, though. So assuming oh, yeah, yeah. To discard this Pathfinders. And then maybe a calling in flavors if there's a second one. Yeah. Just to say... Really, who's to say? Anything could happen in a line mirror. <laughs> yeah, so... Going at... The upholding... He is... Breaking with or without the Pathfinder's Blade. Yeah. The Imperial Favor. Yeah, he could have another Pathfinder's Blade. Uh, probably does. Could have, like, Censure for the Calling in Favors also. Yeah, Mystic can kill one of them. Yeah, he is going to do that as his first action. Uh, he's not actually breaking now with the defense here, which is kind of interesting. Lion Pride's Brawler ball, still sees his action, right? Yeah, but like, I feel like I would almost just want to not defend with the Apprentice because that put him in a position right there where he could have just passed and not broken it since he lost the Pathfinder's Blade. Uh, but I guess he does want to break this since he wants to attack the Stronghold next turn. Yeah, I think you got to break this, really, and just take the hit. Yeah. So It'd be a shame if he didn't fine. have the, the other, which is, I'm guessing, what it looks like now. Yeah, I mean, if he had the other, uh, I don't know, he could he could still have another one. Bid five next turn, yeah. Yeah, so you just draw more cards. Let's have a look. How many cheeky little reprieves is this little nugget on? <laughs> Pretty sure it's He's on three. The, cor the correct number, yeah. Yeah. A uh, secret of void list here. Do they still have secret of void? No, they have secret of air now. Um, wow, lion. <laughs> it does things. Yep. Who knows? So, mm -hmm. upholding authority sees... Ooh, two skirmishers. That's pretty painful. But he discards where the lion. Okay, that's good. But yeah, the, yeah, having those skirmishers next turn would have been very nice. Will be very nice because he has them. Uh, which one? Oh no, sorry, I'm I I I stand corrected. He chucked the skirmishers. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I misread that. I misread that. Yeah, Waylon was the Earth Ring on Lineth. Okay, so there's a widening card discrepancy here, and it's only going to get wider. Yeah. Does Lineth have any cancels? He does. He's on three edicts, so that charge isn't going to be doing a whole bunch if he has the charge. I mean, there's he, a... Is there's yeah, a oh, he's not. Censure. Neither of them are on charge. They're on yeah, neither, neither of them on charge. Uh, it's, yeah, Pathfinder's Blade and Forged Edict. Um, but yeah, there's a Censure in Tenorim Sand, and he still has the favor, so he can, with the Lion's Pride Brawler being the only courtier, he can pretty much, uh, safely play any event here. Unless there's a yes. conflict courtier. And indeed, I feel like you just go whole hog by Spirit Caller. Yeah. Why is the Mystic? Interesting. Uh, you could Spirit Call Makoto, I guess. Maybe that's not actually contributing a whole bunch. I mean, it's an I extra guess get Makoto. four. And three fate for four stats may not be very good. Yeah. Also, we have to assume that Lenath is sat on a ton of military buffs here. Yeah, probably. 
I see double voids to stop. You have to go void here, right? I think you just yeah. have to con concede the fate. Yeah, like if you all in attack here, then Lion probably just has to all in defend. Um, yeah. I guess you could Maybe leave. Keep, leave the magistrate or something, right? Yeah, you need a ready for battle if you do that, though, or the LPB bows it. Ooh, true that. Well, he probably has a ready for battle. Yeah. Two ready for battles. So, ooh, Pathfinder's Blade, okay. So if the Stronghold, I mean, either way, you want to cancel the effect here. Um, and the yeah, only way... Yeah, and Shameful, both bad. Yeah. He could take this with a calling in favors. Oh, there was an FFG stream? I didn't know that. Is that like just a weekly thing? I know it's the world stream. I, it's probably what's hitting our viewers right now. Oh, world stuff for what game? Um, every game. They every just game. Just talking about yeah. They spoke a little about a little bit about L five R. Um, they, we have dates now. Uh, the grinder or the last chance qualifier. You need to be in the top sixty four. Top sixty four players from the last chance qualifier go through. Oh, that should be in the actual cup. That should be pretty easy, actually, because, like, how many people are going to go and just to, like, who don't have invites, right? They also said you're not allowed to play in the grinder if you have an invite. So, yeah, yeah, so uh, top, yeah, top 64 should be easy. Yeah, top 64 is probably, like, most of the size of that tournament. I don't know how popular L5R is these days. Yeah. Plus oh. remaining unclaimed invite seats. Fuck, we see hand-to-hand -hand there. Oh, we see censure. That's a great censure. But Forge Edict. Forge Edict. Oh, shit done. <laughs> we see a little cancel war going on. Yeah. Just the one censure in Tenorim's deck. No, he has two. two. Did he draw the second? No. He's having a think. He did not. No. Nope. He has a window here to play another Pathfinder's Blade. If he yeah, has he the does. last one. I think I just res oh no do you no you probably don't resolve hand to hand again because then you both lose your sword and it's a net value of zero so it's yeah pointless. and your your character has a fade on it so I might as well just keep it finger of jade on Toturi so won't be able to shameful him that's pretty good strong I like that now we need to see calling in favors from yeah. yeah calling in favors ooh there it is. Boom, diggy dog. I mean, he was going to have it with 17 cards remaining in hand. I kind of feel like you put that on the one fate, Berserker. Bang, he puts another Finger of Jade down. Yeah, he actually has three Finger of Jade in the deck, which is a lot. And only one oh. more calling in favors. Oh, it's a good chance he has seen the second. He only has one hand-to-hand, too. Hand too. In all uh, who, Tenorim or uh, Lineth? Lineth. Yeah, I think that's fair. Hand to hand is like pretty much only useful if you're attacking with a clouded guy. Yeah, I think it's. I mean, I think it's just because he has the two calling in favors, so in total he has three attachment eight. Uh, how long to, does export to YouTube normally take? Usually not too long for me, like. About 20, 25 minutes for me. Yeah, okay. yeah, so that sounds about right. Like I just I just usually do it right after I finish the stream and then We'll say this though, if you don't um export with a title, it doesn't seem to export. You can't just export the box is blank. You need to like hmm. fill out a title at least. Interesting. <laughs> Why? Or at least it didn't work for me. Um, for shame, shame. Not doing anything. Sure, trade cards. That is a game that Lenith can play all day. The trade card. Yeah. All day, every day. So we see the box there. Lenith probably going in to battle the LBP on the other side. Lions peanut butter. 
This should no, be the maybe... LPBJ, really, shouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, are you going to be at Worlds, by the way? I hope to fucking hell I am. I have two invites. I have a passport that theoretically... No, shit, I don't have a passport. Okay, thank you for reminding me, man. I need to <laughs> fucking renew my passport. Yeah. As in October. They gave me a punishment passport that only lasted a year. Mm -hmm. Yes, I mean, theoretically, assuming I don't completely forget to update my passport, which I'm not going to, I really should be at Worlds this year. It's the third time of me trying to go, and this time, the third time really is a charm. Yeah, well, that'll be cool. Man, you going? Yeah, yeah I'm going. Fucking A, dog, get that hype train, leaving the station. <laughs> yeah. So I guess we don't have Throw to down. be there on Wednesday because that's just the last chance qualifier. Sure don't, Pie Mittens. <laughs> we sure don't. You know what? We can just rock around, maybe maybe do some drinking. Of marijuana legality is in Minnesota. I'm guessing not very. <laughs> I don't know. Even so, wouldn't recommend just ripping ripping the weed. Man, they always use like the same. <laughs> The same pictures on these articles. There's this one mm. picture that they've used on like every every article for some reason. Trying to see if I recognize anyone. Oh man, Tatori gets dishonored by a second for shame. Oh, you can already sign up for day one A or B if you have the invite. Right. Um, it's gonna be tough, isn't it? Because I imagine all the good players will want to play day one A. Will they? Yeah, and have a day off between that and the cup, probably. Yeah. Oh yeah, true. Yeah. Anyway, I, was... man, I, I like to I like to stay sharp. I'll probably go one B and yeah. just chain through into the cut if I make it. Yeah, we'll see. Linath's first ready for battle there. Iron line will hold. So He needs to at least win the conflict so he can get the double void off. Yeah, he's not doing that right now. Uh, he can me and Mystic this Katana if he really needs to. <laughs> Chat telling me to sort my fucking passport out yeah yeah so for those of you that don't know i had plane tickets and uh and a and a free world last year because kevin ho aka nivicon discord my my wonderful and lovely meta mate is plus one from um coming top two in the seattle kote last year and um i had a coat Nick from my house uh, and I believe the last place I had my passport was in the pocket of that coat and it was a very nice coat as well so I really got three ways from that coat getting nicked <laughs> I couldn't go to Worlds I lost my passport in a foreign country which is not great even if that is a and I lost a very nice coat so yeah yeah that's Fate. tragic so instead I bought a uh, McDonald's breakfast at 3 in the afternoon and I watched the stream <laughs> in my dressing gown or house coat as some North Americans weirdly call it. Yeah. yeah that was that really. That's all, that's all she wrote. Yeah. F for Action Johnny's coat for sure. Um, Pour one out for my coat. <laughs> <laughs> Pour out a cup of lean. Yeah game is still going on we see another edict to sun away the line lunath is just like basically saying here i have five more cards than you fuck you you're not gonna get this <laughs> through that's what's happening yeah he used for shame just to honor his lvb so he could edict again which like is that. pretty cool i like that a lot yeah i mean they're both uh your opponent's characters are both dishonored now so you might as well Um, defender 15, attacker 12, we see pass. Oh my god, and that is all she wrote. Yeah, that's pretty unfortunate there. Um, 
Tenram comes out of that with two dishonored characters and doesn't even get the win. As well, so that's less good. Yeah. Uh, and also, Leenath is in a pretty safe position to either just farm Forge for a turn or uh, break Forge and then be ready to go with a superior hand size on box next turn. Yeah. A quick look at Leenath's, sorry, Tenorim's box. I'm guessing it is. It's either Frostbitten Crossing or. No, it has to be Frostbitten Crossing because we haven't seen Art of War. Right. Yeah. Okay, so he has Frostbitten Crossing on the box, which is not going to be doing anything. Yeah. That's deeply unfortunate there. So I imagine we'll see. So military water and then political air for the fate, maybe. You know, really stick stick the stick the boots in and go earth. Uh, just gonna go air actually. So one thing about going water here is that if the Mia Mystic just doesn't defend, then he can still attack. Unless you bow him, and then you don't get your second attack. So going air for the guaranteed two fate seems good. Uh, ooh, moves Lion's Fred Brawler into the conflict. That's really good, actually. So wait, why didn't he just go water then? Does he have a conflict character? B. Does anyone really have a conflict character when you think about it? Uh, I don't know. Yes. <laughs> that is not some sort of transparent figurative metaphor. So funny, the second I agreed to cast this game, you know, I've got live updates coming from the world stream. <laughs> I have a bunch of people pinging all my IMs. Are they telling you to get your passport? Uh, they're not. It's just the kind people in the chat telling me to. Oh. Entire cycle will most likely not be legal for Winter Court. At least the final pack of inheritance will not be legal. So that's the one that they've been showing us stuff for, right? The inheritance cycle? Yeah, um, so we actually haven't seen any previews from the sixth pack yet, so... Yeah. Okay, so he is going back to Forge here, or he's gone back to Forge... Yeah, because if, if the first pack releases this month, 20th June first pack, they said, okay. Yeah, so... Uh, uh, four packs, I think. It's probably realistic. Yeah, probably. Maybe five. So what is it? Last one would June, be out in July, November. August, September, October. No, we could have five if the release date is early enough in October. We yeah. We could have five. Yeah. Uh, people looking forward to playing the new Dragon Stronghold. That's good news for you. I'm sure it's going to be sick. <laughs> yeah. That <laughs> looks terrible. <laughs> Are you talking about uh, the Kitsuki one? Hero Kitsuki, yeah. Yeah. Everyone's like, oh man, it's so busted because you just can't play cards into it. It's like, no, you can. You just you, can't yeah, play you... the one card that they've named. It's like, if your deck can't... And you can still winner. you can still do that, right? Like you just let them have the ring if you really need to play it. Yeah, I mean, I just I would just get like that box literally does nothing. Yeah. If you don't let it, you know what I mean. It's like a blank that that box has blank text. Like I'm comparing it to I was talking to a guy in Unicorn Chat and I was comparing it to Gossip. He was just like, I don't get the comparison. I'm like, look, they're the same yeah. thing. Gossip means you absolutely can't play a card. And the box is basically suggesting heavily that you don't play a card. So you just assume <laughs> that you can't play the card, right? Yeah. It's but... the same. Like if someone says charge and unicorn, it's like, cool, then I'm going to I like, hope that I've drawn my curve blades and I can break that way or something. You know what I mean? You shouldn't like, it's just bad if you play into the box. Right. But I mean, there are going to be a lot of situations, I imagine, where you just 
won't even care really. And you'll just let it happen. Maybe. I mean, like, it depends, right? Because of keeper initiates being a thing, like, it, it triggers keeper initiates, which is pretty good. Um, it, it denies other rings that you, that, you know, you might want. Yeah, I guess. I feel like, letting them trigger the ball. <laughs> HMT decks. Yeah, I mean, I guess HMT decks are the biggest ones, but, like, yeah, you just don't play that card. In, they can only name one card, and HMT has multiple ways of destroying provinces with military attacks. You know? Yeah. Like, if you name charge, I'm going to cavalry reserves. If you name cavalry reserves, I'm going to charge. If you name Banzai, I'm going to put down attachments and charge. Do you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't... Yeah. Hey, the cards for that conflict that you say I can't play, that's fine. I can probably still break your province. Anyway, we've completely ignored the game that's <laughs> actually going on here. Yeah. Ooh, line mirrors. Exciting stuff, am I right, guys? Um, Please use the hashtag get hype for line mirrors if you're enjoying this matchup. Lenath got a firing, so yeah, he did have a conflict character there. Uh, did Tenorum, Tenorum got an Earth Ring as well, it looks yeah, like? Tenorum got Earth, which is really good for him, because he's behind on cards, behind on honor. Yeah. Um, it's a flip Yuji Aki just as you lose favor. <laughs> yeah. We're seeing a lot of new characters this game. Uh, we got some kind of water Shugenja here. Oh, it's that guy that never bows. <laughs> yeah. And then another one of the orators. I mean, that's a pretty good ability, right? Like, you just never bow. Uh, Zutoran actually comes up with a good point to go back to the previous conversation of HMT versus the box. He bows if you misplay and win, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, like, I think a lot of the time... Unless you're playing HMT, you just probably won't even care if they claim rings. Because, like, if if it's not the Keeper ring and it's not, like, uh, a ring that has a bunch of fate on it, then, you know, whatever. Yeah. Mia Mystic. Not a whole lot to buy here for Tenorim. Yeah, he just kind of has to make sure he survives. The the magistrate actually doing work here now. Yeah, that's true. Send the magistrate and the Matsu Berserker to break forge on military, or maybe you try and break that political. Um, yeah. Pretty really hard to break that political though. He's not showing a huge amount of political strength. I mean, neither is his opponent, though. Yeah, but even even when adding all the numbers up, he actually only has three political strength for that conflict. Yeah. Maximum, because of the, the Magistrate's text. Can't even break Art of War, either, because there's a favorable ground on it, which is pretty lol. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's going to be hard for Lenath to break anything here. Maybe his best bet is to just kind of, like, weather out this turn and wait for the board to go away. And Yeah, because Tenorim's board is going to die here. He'll actually go down to three honor also if both of these dishonored characters die. Uh, he is the one playing reprieves, though. And yeah, the only attachment eight left is one mm -hmm. calling in favors. The big one if he gets it, though. If he gets a reprieve off of that. No, actually, it's not big. The Mystic's in play. Ignore me. Actually, he does lose to Tori, though, so it is pretty big. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he could go political with Magistrate and LPB and court games. Is he running court games? He has two. And we have not seen any. So yeah, that's a possibility.
Lenath bids four. So that already, that already happened. Let's go political first. He's going to try break that way. Let's have a look. What does he have in his deck that he could use? Uh, Beishi Collector, he could have Aegis Crone, Nate Fans as well. We haven't seen any of those. Okay, he's got plenty of political breaking strength, actually. Yeah, he's running like kind of a Courtier Lion deck almost. Oh, he's actually got military. Oh, interesting. That's a mistake. Who knows? Who knows? We've already said that. We don't have the hand information. Daniel Barker of the Crab Clan had a go at me for saying it was a mistake him attacking political on Box yesterday. <laughs> but I receded that statement about two seconds after I'd made it, so chill out, Dan. Yeah, so cloud the mind on the brawler here. Oh, okay, no, actually, I think I know what's happening. He's going to break this military, and then he's going to send the magistrate on political to break strongholds with the fans, and there's nothing that Tenorim can do about that, right? Yeah, probably. Able to successfully defend. Lena needs to defend a military attack this turn, and if he can do that, he's probably okay. Yeah, so that's why he's leaving the brawler behind here. Just gonna use that to defend. Uh, so he is breaking here. Does Lenath play fans? Yes, he does. Yeah, yeah he's on three, I think. Yeah, he's running like a weird courtier lion deck. So he has like the forged edicts, the four shames. Hey, so this deck is the top four lion deck at Birmingham GK. This is what knocked Darren out. Oh, wow. That. I have no idea how that happened, but it did. You don't? Um, uh, he oh, I heard there was some missed triggers that may have yeah. been nothing to do with it. It was more sort of like a statement of being aghast rather than I f literally don't know how it happened. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I'm aghast that it happened, if we want to be literally correct. Yeah, I mean, that is surprising. Pretty impressive that the deck even made it that far, honestly. Yeah, I mean, he didn't have a great day, day one, but day two, he went like 5-1. Five, five, <laughs> Ravaged his way through the top cup. Uh, so we're waiting, we've been waiting a while on this action for Tenorim. Realize it's his action. I don't know. Tenorim, you are the hope the pride, the joy of Sweden right now. He can Let it break. favorable ground in. Oh. He lets it break. Wow. I don't see an issue with that because now the onus is on Jogama thing to defend. Yeah, I guess so. If the Mystic gets taken down by shameful display, you know, whatever, that's fine. You have a third finger of JT, you can actually play it on his Lion's Pride Brawler as well. Um, or whoever he... No, no, sorry, that doesn't work. The Lion's Pride Brawler is broken. Ignore me! Yep, don't do that, that's bad. Bows to Turi, though. Ready for battle. No. Good. He can still favorable ground into Tori for the double ring effect here. Yeah. I mean, he just needs to break it, though, right? Yeah. But if you don't break it, that's nice. True Strike Kenjutsu. This is something. Oh, so yeah, True Strike Kenjutsu is pretty strong here. Does he have it? Uh, well, I don't know if he has it in his hand, but he has it in his deck. Oh, so you yeah. Can you can favorable ground in the Totori to true strike someone. Yeah, that would be good. Nath not rocking a huge amount of military here. Oh, wow. He's actually he going political. Uh -huh. 
so the interesting thing about going political here is that it means this berserker is just going to do nothing now. Right, back to the list. Does Tenorim have... He also has three on eight fans. Okay, yeah, we could be seeing a break here, guys. Well, he'll have to just defend this, and then he won't get to attack again. Zero courtiers now, so all the courtier shit is offline. There's no more for shame. If you can actually... She's just going to come down. Really. You can you can bow the Berserker here, and then you still get another attack with your Mere Mystic. Might need to use the Mere Mystic to whip off a fan, potentially. But you could always favorable ground someone out. Right, right. So he honors the... I think it's going to get bowed, though, right? The thing he's just honored. Uh... LPB that shit right up. Hmm. How many ready for, ready for battle does he run? He's used one. He's probably on yeah, three. Yeah, he's on three. So yeah, I if, imagine he has another one here. If players run three ready for battle. In which... I, I love that card. <laughs> yeah. I really love ready for battle. It's one it's, of my favorite cards. It's cool that they did a promo of it miss those promos i really really am trying to track them down if you have spare full art ready for battles think of think of your boy dan here alone in the cold <laughs> just with no ready for bar no ready for battle full art promos i think i, I may might... even use them i might be on lion splash to cf worlds you know bring them to worlds give them to me i actually do have an extra one I'll, I'll, I'll bring it to worlds for you Oh, yeah, my boy Pymans coming up with the goods. Thank you, Pymans. I appreciate your generosity. Yeah. I give away a lot of promos because it's just too much work to sell them, and they're not worth a whole lot. Uh, I'm just going to do what I did with Thrones with my promos of L5R. I'm just going to hold on to them and collect them, and if it ever gets to a point where I sell out the game, I'll just sell them all then and make a few hundred dollars or whatever. Yeah. I wonder how much the signed Kingsley Ronin would actually be worth. Be quite a lot now that he's vanished from our midst. Yeah. Well, I want like it would. People would have to be willing to pay for it, right? Yeah. That's also something. Which I'm sure. I'm sure someone would. We might be seeing a GG here. Um. Hmm. Buy sticks. Okay, so it's six to four. Oh, uh, if you have any number of fans and can whip off at least a fan played. Yeah. What other? What other political buffs? So there's the one fan from Tenorim. Oh, you know what? If he tries to LPB, he could actually get Curate Code also. Oh, snapsies. Yeah, if he doesn't have... Let's have a look at... We've seen two ready for battle on Tenorim's side, so it is likely he doesn't have the third. Leonath has five fate, so you could play conflict characters as well. I feel like he should be fine here. 14 cards. Like Leonath should be fine. If you get Kiri code, you can just like leave the conflict. Yeah, yeah, it's like a free card if you. And you just go that. back with a tireless Sado and Sado after he loses. <laughs> yeah. That's your job, tireless Sado and Sado, to lose. Relevant ability. And I feel even really sorry for the guy in the artwork. Look, he's just being fucking harassed by ghosts. He's trying to read something. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm trying to figure this out. And they're like, what's fucking taking so long, you useless prick? Yeah, that's funny. Man, I wish there were more 
spirit related cards that were like actually good because those are some of my favorite cards. I feel that you may, will not be disappointed at the coming pack, my friend. Yeah, I have I have heard a couple things, but hopefully. I do like the whole ghost army. Yeah, idea. I yeah. like the guy that literally turns your characters into ghosts as well. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I have heard ghost some attachment. some cool things. I'm hoping Maybe there not. are more that I haven't heard as well. But yeah, currently it's just like Spirit Caller, basically. It is. Which is a good card. So oh, man, this is tragic. Tenorim just crying out for point of strength to break the stronghold. Edivis goes down. Now Ready for Battle brings it back up. Are we going to see Kiriko? Um, are we, yeah, we're past that okay, okay. window now. Okay. I guess Kiriko and Ready for Battle react on the same thing, right? In the Probably. Same window. And it's reacting to, I mean, the bow concludes, then you have an opportunity to trigger. After both. they trigger an ability, after a card effect or ring effect bows a character... I don't actually know if they're the same window is, or wait, not. Wait, wait, is, is, is Ready for Battle an interrupt or a reaction? It's a reaction. After a card of... So, so yeah, that would be after it resolved, right? Yeah, so ready. So the battle from the Brawler will resolve. Yeah, so I think they are the same window. Is to resolve. Yeah, he moves the Brawler back home. He, he is conceding this conflict. Man, I'm, I just saw something in Crane Chat that I'm going to comment on here, but I'm, I'm surprised by the number of people who don't know the correct ruling on effects like Satoshi when you run out of cards in your deck. People, it seems like people always think that you reshuffle and then continue the effect, but that is actually not the case. No. It's not um, how that works at all. Yeah. What so the the correct ruling is um the only thing that causes you to reshuffle is something that would draw you a card when your deck is empty. So since Satoshi doesn't draw you a card, he just discards cards from your deck. He does not tr trigger the reshuffle, so the effect will just end. Oh wow, okay. So we see a fan coming down on the magistrate to deny even the win here. Uh, I don't think Leenaf is going to be able to seal it this turn, though. He's got to live through another round. To be honest, though, if this goes, if this goes to the, uh, and it's probably good game for Tetherim because he's going to be on two on her. And it's the same for Shrine Maiden, because she looks at the top X cards of your deck. I actually have to go to the bathroom, so please excuse me, viewers at home. Okay, so now that uh, now that I've gotten that out of the way, it looks like what's happening. Moved home the... Okay, so we just finished that conflict. Uh, Leenath won 7 to 8. But he can't attack now unless he has a conflict character. He just has this... Berserker standing. Who will be able to defend uh, when Tenorim attacks, at least. So it'll deny him a free ring effect. But that's about it. We see a pass. And 
passes this conflict, no conflict character there, so we do get an attack at the stronghold, uh, sends the LPB as well, so what's his actual skill here? Uh, zero glory on this, so three, why did, he, why did he play a fan and then not win? Oh no, Leonath played a fan, okay, sure. Uh, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you should be able to get the Voidering here still. What are we talking about? Okay, so 9 to 5, he's actually one short of breaking this. Uh, Ageless Crone played on defense, okay. So if he wants to play like a Way of the Lion now, that'll cost him a fate. Both players have two fate though, so this doesn't seem to really give either player an advantage. Um, if he has, like, a Pathfinder's Blade, he'll be breaking here. See what is man? They're really spending a lot of time time uh, thinking about their decisions here. We see Kamayari on the Lion's Pride Brawler. That is all of his fate, and it discards the Fine Katana. Interesting. Ooh, for shame. Yeah. So. <laughs> Bowing the Lion's Pride Brawler there. He just played a Kamayari. He thought about it for a long time. Uh, it spent both of his fate and it discarded a katana, so it was only plus one. Ooh. Plus two? Yeah, no, plus one. Wow. Yeah, he needed exactly plus one to break, but then the Four Shame just bowed him. A conflict character. Oh, no, no, it's over now. I was going to say, erring conflict character wins the game, but. It's not fallen that way. Yeah, so I... this is Lina's game to lose now, and the clean sweep for Hungerpore <laughs> is in sight. Yeah, I forgot how low he was on honor here. What was the last? Hold on. Probably just buy to Tori and go airing. I think right. 
So you physically cannot lose? Oh yeah, sure. Uh, he does find the armory. That's probably not going to do a whole lot. Conspirit collar. What does that do? Return it to your hand. Man, it doesn't even play it. It's unfortunate. So, uh, Tsuko doesn't do a lot. Obstinate recruit, <laughs> you can't play. Yeah, so I mean, what do you, you just buy Spirit Caller here? Do you buy both with no fate? A Tutorian Spirit Caller? He is first player, actually, that's significant. Like, if Leanath were first player, he could just go air first conflict, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, true. Uh, I think you have to buy the Spirit Caller here. Yeah, I, I think so as well. So I think the question is just whether you buy the Tsuko or not. He does. Yeah, ooh. Yeah. Wow, okay. He goes, goes and does that. Okay. Uh, well, I believe he is dead. Yeah. Uh, definitely Let's looks see. that way. Let's see a way out of this. Has anyone played a way of the line yet? We've seen one way of the line and that got cancelled. We've seen no way of the lines from Leenath. Yeah, I mean, like, how does he actually win this? Um, Is there a way? No. He can Legion of One. Let's see, he goes military, Legion of One to 10, two way the Lions to um, 8, 16, plus 6, 22. And then honor, dishonor, so he's at 20, 21 after box. Like, all he has to do is defend with, like, Ageless Crone, and that costs him all of his fate, and then he can just defend it. Right? Um. Plus, if he has... How many Forged Edicts have we seen? Two. I thought that was the draw action. Oh, maybe Skirmisher here? Want to use? Oh, interesting. <laughs> Pathfinders. Yeah, yeah. Pathfinders blade. Sure. So they're saying they forgot to return the court mask to their hand. So they're offering the trade here. And it looks like that will happen. <laughs> what was that? What's that Trump quote about the bet this may be the best trade deal of all time or something like that? Oh god, you're asking the wrong guy. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I have zero idea. It was it was I only know it because it was a meme. Uh, let me see if I can find it. This is oh no, it was the other way. It says this has been the worst trade deal in the history of trade deals, maybe ever. Or no, did he say best? I don't know what he actually said. Because there's this, which is appropriate here. But I don't know if he actually said best or worst. Oh well. Uh, so he puts the Pathfinder's Blade on his guy. Goes at the shameful display.
Um, we see defense with Lion's Pride Brawler and the Magistrate. So that's going to be 3, 6, 7 with favor. So 7 to 6 on attack. So he's winning by 1 with before any events happen here. Um, I feel like maybe you should defend with the Ageless Crown also, just so it limits the number of cards he can play. Yeah, that's pretty good. For that. I don't know if you need to, though. Yeah, so it's just going to be those two. He tries to use Shameful, it gets cancelled. He's down to four Legion of One. Yep, expected that. Like, he put one fate on this character, so... Ooh, Forged Edict, though. Okay. Uh, he gets to keep the fate now, though, at least. Okay. I have another Legion of One. No, he only is running one. Oh, right, okay, that's not great. Yeah. So GG, double yeah. double way the lion is sixteen. Uh we see way the lion number one. And he's out of cancels now. Canceling the second way the lion would have actually been better than canceling the Legion of One, but you don't know if he has two. Find Katana. I just honestly think that Leanath has held on to so many cards here that absolutely nothing you can do, right? Enough on... Hand to hand. Uh, he could kill the cloud now, actually, and then... Oh, Leenath is only on one way of the lion. Oh, has he played it? Uh, I'm just no, saying... No, I don't think... Oh, yeah, he no. has pl played it. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, so I was gonna say I think you just kill the cloud there because you don't care about the katana or sorry the fan. Seems right. good. The katana there. I don't know what the last five cards are in his hand. See, this is where that Kamiari would be good, right? Mass going back down. Uh, yeah, I mean, the court mask only adds one. So, I mean, that's the one he needed to... Why did he... Why did he not put it on the... Oh, I guess because this way you get it back at the end of the turn. But I don't know. Maybe you just put that on the LPB. Uh, we see Sashimono. So he won't bow. Tanner has been knocking on the door of this box for fucking <laughs> turns now. Yeah. So you just go... Yeah, that is really the bottom line of the fucking Lion Mirror. It's really who just defends the most. Right? I guess. Um, yeah, so you just go to Turi Air at Stronghold, right? You just need to win airing now. It doesn't even matter if you break box. Yeah. And you leave the crone at home, so you can get an unopposed still after that. Yeah, this seems good. Like, if he, if he spends a bunch of defending here, you just, uh, and you don't get the break or the or the win, you just go Crone Void, you get unopposed, take him down to one honor and kill his character. Um, GG. Okay, whoops. I actually... And there we have it. it. Yep. <laughs> Hungapore get the first clean sweep of the tournament. Yeah, very nice.
goal for Sweden in this bracket. But do you know what? Don't be, don't feel bad, Sweden. You were up against probably one of the top three teams of the entire tournament. Yeah, they'll still have easily one of the top three teams of the entire tournament. They'll still have a chance next round. <laughs> Strange game for sure. This, yeah. This is actually, this is actually um, five. So. You only need to win three games, so you're not even in trouble until you've lost to the conclusion of the next round. So yeah, it's very early. It's very early days. It's very early days. Everyone's still through. Yeah, they'll they'll have a chance to bounce back. Um, so looking at let me bring this over here. Looking at the standings real quick, we currently. It looks like there's just one series that hasn't finished. It's just Wales left, I believe. Now Wales versus Australia. Is Wales Is Wales a country? I actually don't know. No. No, it's just part I of Don't ever say that to a Welsh person. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's have a look. It is a country. Oh, it is a country. Okay. It's like yeah. by definition, it's a country, okay. but it's not. Yeah, I, I wasn't. I wasn't sure if it was like. Put it this way: no one's getting passport checked in order <laughs> to go into Wales. Yeah. From the fucking bridge. That that's a thing. They charge you to get into Wales, <laughs> but you can get out for free. Interesting. That doesn't seem like a good way to. Like it seems like you're gonna, like, be net negative on the amount of people you have, you know. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I don't it's know. the other way around. Maybe they charge no. Maybe they charge you to get into Wales. No, well, out no of that's Wales. yeah. I don't know. It's one of the one of the two. Well, then, can you charge people to leave though? That seems like. Oh uh, no! It must be to go in. That seems <laughs> much more reasonable. You like can you, never leave Wales. You can't leave unless you pay. Yeah. Yeah, so Philippines, uh, so all of the 1-0 teams currently are Philippines, the United States, Greece, Spain, Brazil, Canada, England, and Hungapore. Hungary plus Singapore. Um, There's two games that will be on today. Um, we've got a line mirror happening. Um, I think it's like, uh, your, your PST as well, right? Yes, and, yes. Yeah, so I think it's like late afternoon, early evening. Okay, and Sarsakit, and I believe uh, team captain Aaron Freed is playing his game um, late this evening. I think it's like nine thirty or ten thirty our time. So, okay, I will I will confirm with those two. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, Enagon just played his game. I've I was I think that was going on when we started our stream. I wonder who won that one. Ah, oh, right, okay. Okay, so I think that's going to be it here. Uh, we'll see. We'll see who wins between Wales and Australia pretty soon, probably. And then Austria was the one who got the bye, right? Yeah, Austria, Austria has Austria got a buy. They've just been having the week off. Lucky guys. <laughs> yeah. Drinking Aperol spritz in the sun, no doubt. Yeah, and then we'll have to. It'll it'll be interesting to see the matchups for week two or round two, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, this one ends on the sixteenth, so still like three more days until this round is technically over. Yeah, I think it just goes to the end of the week. Yeah. So uh, happy days. Yep. Um, and then, yeah, we have... Oh, yeah, I think the, the Welsh games are all on the weekend, so we will be waiting to the last minute for that. All right. Seems good. But, yeah, that's going to do it for this one, I think. Uh, <laughs> stop the video already so I can rewatch it. Yeah. All right, we're going to end the stream here. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching, and...
thanks Action Johnny once again for co-casting. Always a pleasure, sir. I will yep. never leave you hanging if that is what you desire. <laughs> All right. See you guys next time. Take it easy, gang. Peace.